So, so you mentioned SLA. I mean, you have a lot of experience dealing with SLAs. I mean, what are the key factors in the SLA kind of component of this that you that you're keeping an eye on that you guys are they're watching and, and developing? Yeah, there's a whole spectrum of things in the SLA that we care about, right? So, you, know, you even heard Larry uh, this morning in the keynote talk about you know some uptime and stability concerns. Like, there's some very basic elements of the SLA, like <laughs> if the system's not you know <laughs> yeah, yeah. available or if you have to worry about you know data corruptions. Yeah, that's sort of telling you that we're in an early stage in the market. And also, like, you have to start thinking about, well, how business critical is that information if there's some you know, degree of tolerance for those sorts of outages? Mm -hmm. Then if you go all the way to the other end and talk about the from an analyst perspective and you think about everything that went into OLAP processing, you know, so relational provided analytics, but it wasn't good enough for a lot of business analysts. They couldn't slice and dice quickly enough, couldn't really satisfy their, you know, sort of fast twitch, you know, need for, uh, for information. And Hadoop, you know, again, is really good at uh, relatively high latency, uh, high scale analytics, but isn't necessarily an environment where this writing on top of vanilla Hadoop, you'd want to sit there and slice and dice information. That's why we're seeing a lot of the tools build up to build effectively caching and other things on top of Hadoop to provide that sort of uh, SLA for their users. And, and, and bring some structure to that wild west. Um, how about your relationship with Cloudera? What is, what, what's going on there? And can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, sure. Uh, so we have a partnership with Cloudera that was announced uh, several months ago. Uh, we have a certified integration with Cloudera. We have a connector to HDFS and are going to be coming out with a connector to, um, uh, to uh, HBase, of course. Uh, and so we are seeing kind of where things go. I and mean, what, you, what you see with Hadoop is it's this kind of big, powerful engine, but uh, despite Mike's comments, uh, data doesn't originate uh, in Hadoop, and a lot of cases, data doesn't terminate in Hadoop. And so Hadoop is just like one of many happy stops along the way for data, and Informatica wants to be a part of that process, getting data in and out of Hadoop. And also, you know, you heard about the skills shortages around, you know, MapReduce. Everyone you know, had their hiring pitch at the uh, at the talks this morning. And what we're seeing from our customers is, hey, you know, we don't necessarily want, you know, a whole army of MapReduce programmers. We have people that know Informatica. We have people that know SQL. Can they leverage those skills and have that actually be effectively our programming environment for these, uh, for our Hadoop environment? And so our, our answer to that.